In this video, I'd like to show you how to transfer a, a photo that you have in, onto your pattern. So the first thing that we need to do is load a picture. And we're going to load Earth. Now you can resize your photo by dragging the edges of it. And you can move it around by clicking on the inside of the photo and dragging that around. What we're going to do is move it around to where I want it. Let's say right here. And then click the transfer button. The transfer options you can change to any palette that you like. I prefer Mayuki Delicus size 11 because it has the most colors. The amount of colors that you want to use, 32 is usually a good amount. Uh, you can go higher if you want, but you'll have to deal with more beads. Uh, the advanced options, the nearest color and popularity, these are algorithms that are used to reduce the colors to get it down to 32. And the sampling is how many pixels it will sample e behind each bead. Uh, click the begin button. Now you have your pattern. But what if the polar ice caps melted? We would need to represent this by, let's see, let's pick this color. If you right click on any bead in your pattern, it will select that bead in your bead list. So now that this is selected, we, all we have to do is drag onto the white and the, the polar ice caps have melted. And let's get rid of this black. We can right click and it'll select the, the black bead. And if you right click on any bead in this bead list, you'll get a menu with find, merge, and erase. The find finds all the, the colors that are DB310. And you can unfind it right click again if you were to merge you could merge this selected color with the closest match in your list we're not going to do that right now but what I want to do is I want to erase all those colors and I'm gonna right click again and find that black I don't want that black that's fine now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the moon we're gonna load picture of the moon and make it big and we're gonna put it right there now we'll do the transfer again but this time you have to select this don't color occupied areas what that's gonna do is it's gonna skip all the ones with beads in it and it's only gonna alter the the blank the blank areas so click begin and there you have it there's the earth and the moon now it brought back those black beads so I'm going to right click to select this bead and I'm going to erase it and which one is this one I'm going to erase that too erase now I don't feel like a black background so I'm going to choose some type of blue where's a good blue that's fine just drag that color onto your pattern. I don't really like that color, so we're going to try again. That's a little better. How about a dark blue? No. Anyways, I'm sure you could come up with something a lot more imaginative, but I think I showed you what I wanted to show you. Have fun.